Hey everyone, uh, this is a sample lecture for Forsyth Tech Community College. My name is Zach Shepard. Here we go. Hey class, hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, so to continue our study of rhetorical appeals uh, in preparation for the second draft of your paper, which is rhetorical analysis, uh, I'm going to introduce the concept of kairos or timing. Uh, so far, we have looked at uh, ethos, pathos, and logos. Uh, I've introduced you to what exigence means, which is just kind of setting the scene, what a rhetorical situation is. Um, but ethos is obviously the credibility of the speaker, what qualifies them to be listened to on a topic. Uh, pathos is the speaker's methods of evoking an emotional response from their audience, good, bad, happy, sad, anything emotional. Uh, logos is the logic, but more importantly, the logic as it appeals to the intended audience. Uh, it doesn't have to make sense to someone outside the intended audience. You can critique logic, you can critique logos, uh, but is it effective by the way it appeals to the intended audience? That's how you look at it. Uh, Kairos, I said earlier, is timing. Uh, more like relevancy of an issue of a piece of rhetoric to an issue, maybe it's better say it, better way to say it. Um, Easiest way to explain it is a joke. Uh, you tell a joke at a party with all your friends and they love it and they laugh. Uh, you're walking tall, it's, been a, it's gonna be a great night. A week later, you tell the same joke to your family uh, dinner and it flops, there's crickets, all eyes are on you. You're thinking of every single way to seal your mouth shut for the rest of your life so you never have to utter words and deal with this awkward situation again. Um, what happened? You're the same, joke's the same, delivery is the same, possibly you delivered it even better, more confidently than the party because you already had the foundation of one good experience with this joke, but the audience and the situation change, right? Um, it's a dinner, it's family, there's always some sort of tension there uh, versus a party, people are looking for a reason to laugh, right? They're, they're looking for an outlet, they're looking for another, another bullet point uh on their memory of the of that night like when they say hey man you remember remember that joke remember that joke he said that's awesome um so uh the situation changed the joke flopped and uh it just wasn't timely anymore so um we look at kairos in those small scale ways and also in the big scale ways uh, like is a is a leg is legislature being passed about trans athletes uh for or against trans athletes right now uh, in conjunction with kind of the social sphere of, of dialogue and discourse going on about trans athletes and sports, is the legislator good for or against them um, timely or should it be shelled for another time, for, you know, for a later date? Uh, that's something to analyze, right? So we look at the timing of it. Um, but I, to practice it, I'm not just gonna throw you to the wolves and expect you to analyze your paper through Kairos. Um, I have this activity. It is uh, my favorite way to look at Kairos. Uh, it's through protest songs, okay? Uh, protest songs are a great way to study Kairos and timing because they're always released in response to something. So uh, the physical timing is usually pretty pretty much there. You know, it's, it's usually released within a few months to a year of an issue of a cause. Um, that's there. Uh, you can look at all the other appeals through a song as well. You know, you, there's, um, is it fast or slow? That's logos. Is it, is it happy or sad? Did the lyrics gut wrench you and pathos or um, who is singing the song? That's the ethos. Like, is it a well-known artist? Is it somebody who should be singing about representing or speaking out as a cause or an issue or for a group of people? Uh, there's so much to look at with, with protest songs. Um, but you're gonna kind of look at it through Kairos, which means you might have to do a little bit of Googling uh, just to kind of see what the song's about, or maybe look at the mainstream, you know, in relation to the topics here, kind of Google the year and the topics here and kind of see if you can get a you know, overarching idea of what was going on at the time. Um, but you're gonna choose a topic from below and listen to the two songs by following the links. Uh, this documents, attached in our module. So you have access to this exact page that I have here. 
uh, you're going to listen to the songs. There's, like I said, they're speaking out about some other serious issue, something social injustice or another serious issue, something like that. Um, and about 250 to 350 words on the discussion board, you're going to discuss the importance of Kairos based on the impact of the songs or what you think the impact of the songs were based on your analysis of Kairos. Uh, consider when they were released, the topics being discussed, the position taken, which side are they on, and the intended message. Uh, to do the intended message, I might try to, uh, in a sentence or two, encapsulate the entire message of what this, like translate it as what I think this is what the song's saying in a sentence or two. Um, do the songs need to be entertaining and compelling? Uh, if the message is great, but the song is trash, is it better or worse than a banger song uh, that you had no idea was about a certain thing? Like Taylor Swift fans go to extreme lengths to figure out who her songs are written about. Um, a protest song or a song about a social cause should not have that much uh, secrecy involved, right? You, you, we should be able to figure it out just by listening to it. Um, so consider all these aspects, all these factors. Do only listen to the songs, like pick a category and listen to the following songs. Uh, there's three in war. So you pick, if you picked war, you listen to all three of these. Um, I added this one, Ballad of Penny Evans, because it's a new song or a new performance of an older song. Um, so you can see how, it, how analyze the Kairos kind of in different directions, you know, like you could, look back and, and analyze how effectively it was back then can look forward to see how it impacts us today like what does it mean to listen to anti-war songs from vietnam days now or to hear an artist a, con a contemporary modern artist perform a song from the vietnam days uh you know the world's kind of in a very hostile place at uh, this current moment in time so uh there's a relevancy to these things and they can kind of evoke a universal emotion from us so be careful of that. Um, but yeah, so you just you're either gonna you're gonna pick a topic, listen to those, uh, post it on the discussion board, respond to two classmates uh, with some substance, please, and thank you. Uh, I have to read all of these. I would much rather read uh, something about how Flavor Flav's uh, cadence and fight the power uh, was one of the most effective aspects of the song and if he didn't have that or if it was trying to be performed by a different artist it wouldn't be as effective like that's kind of the comment i'm looking for not uh you made good words in your comment cool congratulations like i don't want to read that 16 times over like give me some substance um could contribute contribute something to the conversation would be great other than that this is linked on there uh, this is linked on the module um if you have any issues getting accessing the songs via the links in this document, uh, just type the songs into YouTube. That's all they are, YouTube videos. Uh, if you need anything else, if you need anything else about Kairos in your text, chapter two, everything about Kairos and uh, rhetorical situations, how the relevancy of a piece of rhetoric can adapt and shift and mold and um, just how rhetorical situations shift around the same joke that I was describing earlier, um, this throughout time, it can, it can become a piece of rhetoric can become relevant again, possibly even more relevant than it had ever been before. So, you know, these are important things to kind of think about as you're looking at songs from uh, up to like 70 years ago or something. So consider all that. This is due Friday, due dates in the module as well. Uh, I will see y'all next week. Peace.